So Libra, it's time for your reading for the beginning of this current year. Because I can't remember. It's 2019. 2019. Yeah, okay. Hope you all are doing well. Uh, such a long, long day. Yeah, my days off are so short, you know? <laughs> Uh, let's see what's going on with y'all. What just did this? Wanting to communicate. That's always good. You want to communicate. Communication's always good. Possibly with an Aquarius, or an Aquarius wants to communicate with you. Anybody with Aquarius in their chart? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, right? So if it resonates with you, no worries. If it doesn't, no big deal, right? Um want a personal reading, my email, the Facebook page, Instagram, they're all in the description. Hit me up on any of those, because usually I'm on there just, like, posting memes and shit, because that's what I'm really good for. Um, I really don't like the social media for socializing as much as I do just talking shit. But that's just me. Then again, I'm a Capricorn. I'm meant to be, um, childish the older I get like we grow up backwards anyway you know like Capricorns start off as old people and then we just get more and more childish we don't act like babies though first card is the past you're possibly thinking about somebody from back in the day you guys do that a lot sometimes no whammies all right then we got for you what you're wanting queen of wands I usually say she's Sagittarius because I'm Sagittarius rising but I'm a Capricorn so no big deal Right, right. Um, she's sitting there waiting. That's what you're wanting, wishing. Fears or rejections that the door might be closed. Four of Wands reversed. Um, situation Prince of Pentacles reverse. Nine of Pentacles and obstacles and challenges coming against you. You feel like you're stuck in a cave, but not in the Virgo way, but more in like, I just want to isolate myself and pretend I don't exist on this planet anymore because people are gross. Which I totally agree with because people are gross. Uh -huh. But the beginning as well as the ending is possibly your energy, Libra, or it could be Aquarius, or it could be Gemini, but someone's snooping, someone's spying for all the wrong reasons, um, someone's being gossipy, someone's talking shit, someone's trying to spread rumors, smear campaigns, you know, the worst of the worst, or someone's just lacking communication to the point where it's making them insane, and they're just snooping. Look at this, the Emperor! Sometimes on Divine Masculine's card, right? Or it could be an Aries you're dealing with as well, but somebody in a position of authority, somebody in a position of control. Uh, almost reminds me of my dad, because he's a Libra too. Fun fact, um, Libra who raise children, have children who um, really don't listen to rules, don't like obeying what other people say, because it's like Libra, like I, I, like, I hate, don't take this personal. Because I'm just speaking from my own experience with my dad. But, like, hey, Fats. Fats has joined us today. Yes, you lay on your box. Fatty, fat, Fats. Put that butt down. There you go. That's my fat man's. And this nigga for, like, seven years, man. He's my dude. Just watching outside. Yeah. You better not crawl over here like I think you wanted to do. I know you hear the birds. Oh, are you watching the video? Oh, yeah, he's watching me in the video. Okay, that's why he looked confused. Yeah, this is my dude. I've had him for seven years. Love this motherfucker, right? But, you know, my personal experience with my father, like, he was very much a man who, um... Wanted to make sure his children were the best. The problem was he never really questioned what his kids wanted, so, like... We kind of became a product of his failures. Like, we're all mouthy. We're all rude. We all like confrontation. We all talk shit. Like, that's the kind of people a libra who is too much in control or trying to have control tries to maintain i almost feel like this is like something here libra for some of you um most of you might not be dealing with this person most of you might be dealing with this person from a distance but i feel like that's what the spying thing is for it's almost like someone's trying to control and i don't know why I'm saying this about y'all, but I, I almost get that vibration that someone's wanting to. So there is the past, right? There's someone who is a shadow person now. Not a shadow figure, but a literal shadow. Like, you can actually see right through them. This person from the past. And it's like, there's an offer here, but that offer comes with your own personal dragon. Like Game of Thrones. Except, you know...
not as horrible as you would think i would think um this dragon is power this offer is power it's like you're reaching out to this person from the past almost like trying to offer something to them that is a power or you're wanting them to offer you this power and we got the uh, the emperor right here so this is about power authority um control manipulations not all bad mind you but this is like control this is all like control I don't know. I've been. I, I've just been like picking up shit in each one's um every zodiac I've done so far. It's like, well, I did just do the shadow judgment, so yeah, that's why I'm probably picking up more of the shadow sides than anything, right? But down below in the situation, there's also the Prince of Pentacles, who also has a pentacle to offer, but he's not coming. It's delayed, and and, and there's a feel like you don't know how to go with this, or you don't know how to pick procure this it's like if there was an offer made in the past by somebody which is a, a, an offer of power like if the dragon if the ace of pentacles were reversed i would say don't take the offer but this is because it's too aggressive it's too strong it's too uh overwhelming it would eat you alive but no this offer is about power it's about control it's about having strength and shit like having something that you could use at will that's trippy. But this offer isn't coming, so it's like you don't know what to do. You don't know what kind of choice to make. Like, it's almost like you were expecting someone to come with an offer. Or maybe you're trying to offer this to the person from the past. But it's not going anywhere, so it's just kind of like you don't know what really to do. Queen of Wands, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. She's standing pretty with her posse. She's sitting there looking directly at you. She is just like, what the fuck do you want as you approach me with my little witchy shoes? Look at her shoes all pointed and shit. I want those shoes. One day I'm going to have witchy shoes. Just, just because I need them. That's it. it. Looks cool and I need them. No one knows where to find like pointy witchy shoes. Um, I would be absolutely in love with you and I will probably like lick your face because that's what I do to people I love <laughs> oh my goodness so yeah like what you're wanting is somebody either you're wanting to um have something to do with this person this could be the person from your past too who you're reaching out to you know because you're look because there's this person looking at a shadow and this doesn't have to be you Libra this could be the person you're dealing with somebody reaching out to a shadow for some sort of powerful offer something that'll give them strength and this person who's in your wants and wishes this could be you demanding something or this could be them demanding it from you but what did I tell you guys before about uh, self-fulfilling prophecies? Working for nothing. Working on something just to keep working on it. Um, endlessly toiling not to produce a damn thing. Like the pentacles just keep going in the furnace and coming back out from the spout down here. Just so you keep working on it. It's like a, a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's just like you keep feeding into this machine that keeps giving you the exact same shit. Right? It could either be you or the person you're dealing with. That's what you want. And it's just kind of like, hmm, that's weird. That's your wants and wishes? Like you're demanding something, like continue the way it is? Because that's really weird for you guys. Um, this was the first one. Uh, but your obstacles and challenges that are coming against you. Nine of Pentacles. Not feeling like yourself. Feeling like you want to isolate yourself from other people. Feeling like, you know, like you don't know who you are. Because of the lack of clarity, Ace is so. I got two aces. Hmm. Both from the same deck. Now let's see. This one is obviously reversed. I honestly think that this is the one that's like honest. Well, honestly, I don't know, because either of them could be hers. Like, if the person, if you're trying to go into the future with somebody from the past, if this is reversed, then like the offer is going to be shit. If you're expecting like the past to come to you with an offer however um you might also be there might also be this thing where you have an idea of who you are and that's why you're keeping to yourself too if this was reversed i don't know it's really up to you but i feel like they're in the right positions anyway i feel like even with these two aces the fact that the ace of swords is reversed is the false ace and the true ace is the ace of pentacles 
which is like you either want someone from the past to make you an offer, which is not happening, or you're wanting to make an offer, which is still not happening because you don't know what to do either way. But I don't think either of these aces are actually wrong because at least one of them popped up as a um, reverse, so I don't have to worry too much there because there can't just be two beginnings. That'd be weird, but it's like, still, just between this ace of swords and the two of swords, it's like you don't know what to do. Uh, if there is some truth in this, you're keeping it held back. You're not, like, opening up or expressing about it. So that's an issue. Um, four of wands, which could be, like, the door is closed. It could be, like, um, two people just deciding that they just don't click anymore. They just don't work together anymore. Could be with a Leo. Um, a lot of restrictions on that. Like, still holding yourself back from this fear or rejection like maybe you're afraid to admit that like this door is completely shut that there's nothing else from this door because you know control um wanting to be the one who determines stuff i always say that like the emperor is always about control because he controls everything he's the emperor you know highest of the highest of the high you know i'm the one who makes rules catalyst as well as the final result someone snooping and spying for all the wrong reasons Trying to justify. I feel like someone's really trying to justify. Whatever it is I'm picking up here. But I don't know if I'm picking it up correctly. I mean, like, I don't know if it's you offering or the person from the past who's offering. Either way, it's like you really don't know what to do about this offer not being offered, though. Because you know that this offer is, um got a lot of power behind it which is odd because you know control with the emperor right but it's like look at this offer a dragon is much more um powerful than someone who has authority you know the, the dragon is free anything that has something to do with a dragon like my tattoo for example freedom right there i can fly and burn down buildings and serve some bitch named darius or whatever the fuck her name is i don't want uh, like i'm not one of those people who brag about watching game of thrones um i've read one book and i think i got to the part where like the brother was twisting her nipples or something and then i was just I'm like no i i i, I can't I don't, i'm not imagining this anymore it's too much for my head, but it's like anything with dragons, right? Dragons represent strength, power, freedom. Something an emperor definitely envies and wants to emulate with his own authority, you know? So, you know that this dragon is a very powerful offer, a very powerful tool. And it's like, who is this for? Who are you getting? Who is giving the pentacle and who's meant to accept it? Because it's just kind of like, hmm. You know, that, like, that's why I've always liked dragons. That's why I always thought a lot of them. I always thought they represented freedom, having the strength to do whatever you want. Just don't go into, like, the dragon heart world where they hunt you down for some reason, even though they made a sequel with another dragon, which just confused the shit out of me. But it's whatever. But yeah, it's like dragons are nothing but power. Straight up. Like, D&D, &D, like, fuck you up. Not, well, you know, I don't know. Like, sometimes in D&D... Like, dragons can be kind of la 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 la, but this, this dragon is like literally an offer for great strength. So it's like, hmm. That is so interesting. But this uh, justification down here, or looking for stuff to justify your way of thinking, that's almost what I feel like. You're like, almost like you're mentally torturing yourself looking for something, or the person you're dealing with is looking for something because they took off. After they burned the entire village to the ground. Like a fucking dragon. Oh, that's all. It's like you're taking off. Moving on. Looking for looking for justification to move away from this, I think. You know, after the dragons went and burned everything down, you're just like, oh, I got to go now. I gotta go. I can't stay around here anymore. Do 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 do. Cause I'm not happy at all. What's the ending thing? What do you mean? Oh, kitty. Everything just went on the floor. I'll pick these two. Very tentative offer to get the wheel to turn to get you back into this emperor power. Uh oh, that sounds scary. 
It's like, I mean, it can't, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo could easily be this. Probably immature, right? But the immaturity is what gives this particular person the ability to create big foundations. And like, the Wheel of Fortune's right here, so that's definitely something that's going to move forward easily um, for the Emperor to come into power. Or for the Emperor to get established somewhere. So this is like... Hmm. Scary? <laughs> Just saying, like, my own personal experience, of course. You're waiting to receive a message, or you're waiting to give one so movement can start? Eight of Wands. Someone's waiting for something. some Like a signal in order to start something new. There's another ace. You guys got a lot of fucking aces, I have to say. Like, if somebody's waiting for some sort of signal, so there will be movement. You know? That's the second card. Please. There we go. Oh, there's quite a few. Oh, there's actually quite a few. There's two for the last two. I'll just do two, two. All right. Someone got what they wished for. And now they gotta listen to some shit. That's what I'm getting here. <laughs> like, someone made a wish. And now they gotta sit there and listen to somebody just... Like, sure, they have that rose, but what the fuck have you done? That's the real fucking question this person. Like, you still got two cups. There's still love here. It's just those three cups were just like, what the fuck were you thinking? I spent all morning doing all this shit just for you to come around and ruin it. That's what I feel like you, you feel like someone... It's almost like... It's almost like you're wishing for somebody to come back who you know is powerful. With the Ace of Pentacles. Like it made a heartfelt wish with that, right? Like you wish for this. There's no hubris. You know, this is what you're asking for. Because all this right here, there's nothing happening. There's no lack of movement. It's like an endless cycle. Like I think that you're thinking of this Queen of Wands right here endlessly. And it's not escaping you. But the problem is, it's like you trying to escape in your cave is the wrong idea. That's what the Ace of Swords is telling me. But it's like you also know that with this wish comes the fact that you're going to have to probably listen to someone bitch at you. Or someone's doing this to you. And they know that they're going to have to just face you for all the shit they've done. And these last two, look at this, look at this, Ace of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, offering your cup, apology, or even your fucking love will get you to who the fuck you are. Ah. I guess all that, like, searching down here didn't really do much for you, did it? Wow, actually, you're longer than Cancer. I'm kind of surprised about that. 18 of 7. Yeah, you guys are like, um... Libra, you guys have been going through some fucking shit, man. Like, I know I talk shit a lot about you, but that's because I have my own fucking personal issues um, with my father. So I got daddy issues. Daddy issues. So I'm gonna keep on living life this way. He. That is so weird. Like, it's almost like if you make this really shitty, well, not even shitty, it's just if you make an actual genuine offer to move forward, you'll get your power back as the emperor, that control that you've been wanting. And I don't even think you're looking at it as control. I think you're just looking at it as trying to establish your kingdom. It's just, that ace of pentacles with that dragon, man, like, dragons listen, they don't get told what to do. You know, so that's the whole thing. But I, I, I really feel like some of you are just like not all of you. This could be a person you're dealing with, but for the ones who are doing this, I feel like you're just doing it because, like, I, I think some of you are just scared that you don't want to be wrong. I don't know, but thank you for watching my video. I hope I didn't offend any of y'all because that wasn't my intention. I have a habit of like wording things wrongly and them coming out as arguments and then people want to fight me. And it's just kind of like, no, just giving you my opinion. You don't have to accept it. Just, well, you don't have to agree with it. Just accept that I think differently than you, I guess. But yeah, so that is your reading, guys. And I will see you later. Hopefully for the live stream tonight. If not, not a big deal. But love you. Bye-bye.